This is Hayes Q Jones. Your DVD and Blu-ray baller on a budget. And this is HQ Videos for you. And I'm on my way to Lakeland, Lakeland, Florida, which is about, uh, about 45 minutes east of me. Um, I'm going to need a pawn shop up there. Also, I've been seeing a lot of rumble online, YouTube, Facebook about Dollar Tree having their dollar movies out. So, you know, I got to check out the Dollar Trees in my area. Uh, while I'm in Lakeland, I might as well see uh, find any Dollar Trees there also. Um, also, a short aside, my wife and I have been watching this show on Amazon Prime called Them, Them, T H E M. It's a show about a family of four, a black family of four, migrating from the south of South Carolina in 1946 to, I believe it's East Compton, California, uh, for a better life. And this is in the 40s, and then moving to an all white neighborhood. Um, of course, there's racism there, and that's kind of one of the main focal points of the show. You know, I'm like, eh, depending on what mood I am, I've might tend to feel a certain type of way, but it's actually a horror movie or horror television series. So we're up to, I think, episode six or seven. So we're looking forward to ending that though. Very interesting show, them on Amazon Prime. But you know the routine, sit back, relax, have a drink, have a smoke, kind of hit a few stores, hit a few shops and see if I pick up anything. See you in a second. morning. This is the third Dollar Tree I've been to and nothing, no movies. Um, I'm going to try this one. Uh, see if they have anything. I'm seeing the same movies I've seen for the past three or four months. Let's check this one out. Dollar Trees at all, so maybe next week. This, however, is pretty much my prime destination. Max Pond in Lakeland, Florida. Let's see what they have.
I'll see what I can do for you. <laughs> you're older than I am. I'm like, oh. See, I still collect DVDs because when all these streaming devices fail, I exactly. To watch TV. Exactly. Or when they start charging you like exorbitant fees for. I have a VHS player, but I have the old VHS uh, cover on top of it. As you can see, uh, pretty much hit the jackpot here. 32 bucks for all that. Even got a 4K out uh, the deal. So there's actually a Dollar Tree around the corner. I'm gonna hit this. 
then probably head back. I have an appointment with my son's coding teacher, my wife and I. I think uh, she has somebody digging that cabinet. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Uh, I'll talk to you in a minute. Even stuff by the Dollar Tree in Lakeland and couldn't find anything. So I figured while in Lakeland, I might as well at least look at the lake. So here's the lake in Lakeland. back at the black cave and actually did quite well in Lakeland at the it's called the Max Pay the Max Pay pawn shop in Lakeland uh, all this I picked up for 32 bucks uh, I can see that down there uh, these are pretty much just got for the snap cases uh, all this I got at the pawn shop in Lakeland and got a couple three of these uh, one from eBay and one from Amazon so let me get these out the uh, the plastic and uh, we'll go over these in just a minute gotta start out with Chasing Liberty let's start out with the snap cases originally I got most of these just for the cases the snap cases the that part of it because I have some of these the original artwork and I think the snap cases out so uh, some of these I purchased just as a replacement, but as I looked at them, checked out the disc, it actually looked pretty interesting. So this is one that I end up keeping. Mandy Moore and Matthew. Who is that? Matthew Gore, Matthew Good, Matthew Good. I was familiar with him. Chasing Liberty. This is a Warner Brothers snap case release. Next, <clears throat> we have, uh, I've heard of this, but I've never seen this. Nick Nolte, Jeff, Jeff Bridges, Sharon Stone, and Simpatico. Love, Betrayal, and Money. Uh, it's like a thriller. It's a New Line Cinema release. Simpatico. Next, a Sandra Bullock fan. Uh, Hugh Grant, I can take him or leave him. Um, this is a Warner Brothers snap case release. Two week notice. I'm assuming this is a romantic comedy. Two week notice. Next, we have Jeff Daniels, Jenna Malone, and Cheaters. If you're not familiar with this, Why and Bob again look interesting. This is a HBO snap case release. We have one other HBO, a couple other ones. I know the Chris Rock is a HBO snap case. Cheaters. The next one is a Jodie Foster movie we've never heard of. Stealing Home. Maybe I've heard it. I've never seen it, though. Mark Harmon, Jody Foster, Stealing Home. Warner Brother release. And I'm assuming this is a drama, romance. Stealing Home. <clears throat> Next, we have Rob Schneider. And I kind 
time into the animal. I saw this a long time ago. I actually thought I had this. I think I have a bootleg copy of this. So upgrade to the DVD. The animal. And it actually still has the inside guy. Or if I'm getting those. Animal, or just anim yeah, the animal. Next, I've never seen this, just look interesting. You get a clue. Um, artistry, never heard that. Says Showtime release. He looks familiar, he looks familiar. Not too sure on these two. I love Samuel Jackson. I love motherfucking Samuel Jackson. I love the same motherfucker with Samuel Jackson's name. It just flows so, so smoothly, so effortlessly. But I've never seen that Samuel Jackson and I can't think of this guy's name and the man. I just know him from uh, that American Pie. Yeah, American Pie. Eugene Le Levy. Eugene Levy. The man. And, oh, on destination. Good series of movies. The New World. I think I actually have that here. The man. Next, Henry Poole is here. Again, looked interesting. I, I think I paid like 50 cents. When you average everything out, probably pay less than a dollar for all the movies. Blu-ray, Blu-ray, and 4K. I have a 4K one in here also. Um, just like George Lopez, um, Luke Wilson, all names I recognize, the Anchor Bay release, that name's not a prep, and I'm assuming this is like some kind of romantic comedy, Henry Poole is here, next we have American Pie Band Camp. I believe I have all the American Pies and the little offsets of these. I have them on DVD. I think I'm, well, I know I have one on Blu-ray because I got it in this pile. As a little spoiler alert. It's a universal release. American Pie. My name is Earl. Very funny show. Uh, I've I think I've seen the first three seasons. I don't think my wife and I actually finished the last season. So I have to do that one day soon, or one day eventually. I don't think that's really short on its time, really. American Pie Band Camp. I want to get this in Blu-ray. Um, I haven't found it for a decent price yet. I think Hamilton had it, but even Hamilton was a little pricey. A scanner darkly. Uh, a lot of names in here. Keanu Reeves, Robert Downey Jr., Woody Harrelson, went on the rider. And not really familiar with Rory Cochran. Probably if I see him though. Very different type of movie. It's, I don't say it's animation, because it's really not animation. It's, I don't know the, the term for the, the type of filming they did, but pretty much the whole movie looks something like this. I haven't watched this in years, so might might wait to get the Blu-ray though. But glad to have this right now, the DVD. I scan her darkly. It's a Warner Brother release. No Good Deed. I'm, I haven't seen this. I've seen the other No Good Deed with um, Idris Elba and um, Taraji P Henson. I think there's another one. I haven't seen this version of No Good Deed. Uh, Samuel Jackson, Samuel motherfucking Jackson, Mila, Mila Jovovich, 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 and Stellan Skarsgård, one of the Skarsgård brothers. I'm not sure if that's a nerdy one or not. Yeah, I think that's a nerdy one. A sexy post pounding thriller. No Good Deed. And this is a TriStar, TriStar release. 
No Good Deed with Samuel motherfucking Jackson. Next, I've never seen this movie. Um, had at the collection. I guess if I get in a weird type of mood, I'll watch it. Holly Berry, Martin Landau, and Baps. And I believe that's Baps, if I remember correctly. It's Black American Princess, I believe. Yeah, this, this is when she started making a lot of weird movies like Baps and that other movie she did with, um, uh, God, I can't think of the guy, uh, Dick Tracy. Uh, can't think of the name. Really weird movie, though, but I think this is around that same time. Baps, and this is a New Line Cinema release. Next, one of my, one of my favorite group of comedians, uh, Cedric the Entertainer. Uh, HBO special taking you higher I don't know if I've seen this or not uh, I think I've seen most of the specials I almost hope I haven't seen this one because I'd like to see something new from him he is such a, a talented and relatively clean uh, and a comedian very good stand up comedian if you haven't seen him highly recommend him um, Cedric the Entertainer taking you higher next uh, oh, this is still in the wrap Matter of fact, the next two are still in the wrapper, so let me get these out the wrappers and we'll go over these individually. We we'll started out with Nacho Libre, Jack Black. I remember I actually had the original copy, I believe it was a blockbuster copy, and uh, probably sold it for uh, get more more um, more videos. Uh, somehow when I sold it. A bootleg copy kind of jumped into my collection. I don't know how that shit happened. So, but Nacho Libre, that's a decent, decent uh, comedy. I haven't seen it in a while. If you like Jack Black, you like it. If you don't like Jack Black, you won't. Nacho Libre. This one I haven't seen, but I heard this is actually kind of funny. Um, Bella Thorne, Ken Ken Leong. He looks familiar. I don't know. If that's. Uh, I don't know who that is. Is that, that May or Robbie? I don't know. He looks familiar though. Duff. And this is a Lionsgate release. And I actually got the code. See if that works. Duff. So these are the DVDs. The snap cases I got from the pawn shop in Lakeland. And before I go over the Blu-rays, let me go over the two 3D movies I got from uh, eBay and Amazon and see if I can do some about this glare. We have Rock Hudson, Taza, son of Cochise in 3D. And I'm sure this is probably offensive to say to Native Americans though, but I do like Rock Hudson. I do like Kino Lorber. I do like 3D, so... I'm sure this is interesting to say the least. Taza on a Cochise in 3D. And this was a Amazon buy. Uh, reasonable price for Kino Lover. Next, have an IMAX 3D C Rex Journey to a Prehistoric World. And it was IMAX 9 times of 10, it's on point. Usually IMAX 3D. It is crisp clear and if they don't have the stuff coming at you is very very a lot of depth to their 3d so i'm looking forward to watching this it's just the 3d pickups for the week c-rex and taza son of cochise to, go, to kick off the blu-rays we're going to start out with captain underpants the first epic movie my son seems to like the, I guess the book or the story, Captain Underpants. And yeah, I think he's seen the movie, so he says it's pretty decent. So we'll see for less than a buck on a Blu-ray. Hell yeah, I'll check it out. Next we have a BBC. I love my BBC's um, documentaries. This is uh, narrated by that chick, Oprah Winfrey. And usually the BBC documentaries are pretty cool. Life. 
Next we have Christine Bell and Josh Dumel, I guess. I like Christine Bell for some reason. She's very charismatic. She seems really likable. When in Rome, it seems like I picked this up on a, a DVD lately, but I didn't have it scanned in. It didn't show up on my COD Movies app, so I'll see when I put it away. Matthew McConaughey and Anne Hathaway. Uh, this looks like a romance, possibly. I'm not sure. Got the DVD and the Blu ray. And what is this? Universal? That's a Universal release. Serenity. Next, when I first saw, this, first saw this, I thought it was Jamie Foxx, but it's not. Um, Inside Man Most Wanted. I think this is maybe like a bank robbery movie, possibly. I like bank robbery movies, especially when they get away with it. Don't ask me why, it's just the Deviant in Me, Inside Man, and hopefully the digital code works. And this is... Universal. Yep. This is a Universal. Next, we have a Disney. I love the Disney animal documentaries. My wife loves them also. She's a huge animal animal lover and advocate. Uh, African cats. And, of course, we love cats. As evident by Shaka and Shira. Next, I had this on DVD, upgrading to Blu-ray and Faithful, with Richard Gere and Diane Lane. This is a 20th Century Fox release, Romance and Thriller. And Faithful, and I'm assuming by the title you can imagine what it's about. Next, Vampire Suck. Looks like a vampire comedy movie. 23 Fox release. That looks like old boy. Yep, Ken Jeong. Ken Leong. Jeong. Ken Jeong. He is everything. Digital copy and the Blu ray. Vampire Suck. 23 Fox. Johnny Knoxville, Jackass presents. Not a huge Jackass fan, but again, for less than a like less than a dollar on Blu-ray, I'll pick it up. Bad, bad Grandpa, unrated. I believe I had a bootleg copy of this anyway. So, and we have the Blu-ray and the DVD. Bad Grandpa. Next, from what I've heard, he is like a very difficult person to work with in Hollywood. The original Hulk, and I guess he fucked that up, and they asked him, no thank you, don't come back. Edward Norton, he's an incredible actor though. And Colin Farrell in Pride and Glory. Looks like a cop movie. New Line Cinema. Looks like the code works. Pride and Glory. And this is New Line Cinema. This is the American Pie Blu-ray. I had it on DVD. DVD. Upgrading to Blu-ray, The Book of Love with Eugene Le- Levy. Disney and 
animal documentary on pandas. Only thing looks like somebody's cat or dog was chewing on this, though. <sighs> that kind of sucks, though. Uh, other than that, beautiful slip cover. But nevertheless, the DVD is in excellent condition. Make sure I check all those while I leave the Blu ray and the DVD. Born in China. Never heard of this movie. I like Josh Harnett, I haven't really seen a lot of stuff lately. Uh, Antoine Olivier Pilon with Jim Gaffigan. Inspired by a true story, Most Wanted. And this is a Paramount release. Never heard of this. Looks interesting. I have the Blu ray and the digital copy. Most Wanted. I've actually seen this streaming before. Not a bad movie. Not one of his best. Uh, Kate Bosworth, Emil Hirsch, and Mel Gibson, Force of Nature. Nice slipcover embossed print here. It's a Lionsgate release. Slipcover. And a digital copy. And the Blu ray. Force of Nature. Fighting with family, with my family. Very good comedy based on a, a true story. Uh, she's actually, not this one, but based on a, a female professional wrestler. Director's cut. Very entertaining. Uh, the Rock has a, a part in here. You have Vince Vaughn, more serious role. Um, what's the guy's name? Nick Frost, I believe. Very, very entertaining movie. A little... Uh, tugging at your heartstrings in, a, in certain parts. That's the cover. And you have the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital code. And this is a universal release. Fighting with family. Never seen this before. Blue Valentine, a love story. After I got in, I just like going over to just realize Ryan Gosling is in here. Uh, Michelle Williams. The name sounds familiar. I have to see the face. Yeah, okay, I know who she is now. The best movie of the year, so we shall see. Blue Valentine. And it is an Anchor Bay, so it is out of print. Anchor Bay copy. Blue Velvet, have you seen this? And if I should watch this sooner or later, let me know. Leave a note in the comment in the comment section and to end this this is probably my best buy less than a dollar for 4k let me slip cover off American Psycho this is probably Christian Bale at his best in my opinion this is I don't know he just plays these really odd roles too well, in my opinion. American Psycho, the uncut version. Huh. I had this before. I wonder what's included that's not in here. Uh, interesting. And this is a Lionsgate release. And right here is this little pile here is my pickups from Lakeland, eBay and Amazon, mostly Lakeland. So you know what part of the video this is. Let me release these movies from their plastic, put the artwork in the, uh, in the folders, and let you guys go. Hold on. I have everything scanned into my CLZ Movies app, and that's Season Charlie, Elton Lima, and Season Zebra. Let's get you guys on your way. Okay, I have everything laid out, ready to be put back in its proper place. As usual, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule just to hang out with me, look at movies, and talk movies just very briefly. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Doesn't hurt, doesn't cost a thing. You help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers, so hit the like, smash the like. 
give me the big thumbs up. Other than that, please share. Other than that, it may be the best of your past, be the worst of your future. Everyone have a great day. Great week. Peace.